Let's talk about those bark collars on the citronella collars. I see this happening all the time. People go, well, Chris, can I get a bark collar, electric collar, uh, and put it on my dog? Well, do they work? Yeah, they can work. I can tell you, though, I've seen so much psychological damage done by bark collars. How many of you out there are using that electric underground fence? How many of you are where the dog is getting shocked? He learns that if I get shocked, I can't go there. Okay, let's say we use an electric bark collar on a dog that has an underground electric fence. Well, how are they going to differentiate between being shocked for I can't go there and you're not supposed to say anything and be quiet? You know, a lot of times dogs get very confused by the shock, don't know where it's coming from. It causes a lot more anxiety in the dogs. So all of a sudden their dog goes, roof, and he gets, he gets shocked, roof, and he gets, and all of a sudden that dog has no idea why he's getting shocked. And he's getting more anxiety and he's freaking out and he becomes more reactive and more fearful and more barky. So the electric collar, the shock collar, although I have seen it work on occasion, is generally not a good idea, especially if I have an underground fence system where I have a dog that's very sensitive. How about the citronellas? Okay, the citronella collar is where it's a spray of citronella that goes into the dog's face and the dog is supposed to understand that that shoot of the spray comes when he barks. The problem I have seen with these collars is, is that the citronella spray comes after the bark. So the timing is a little bit off. Years ago, when I had was taking dogs into my own home and boarding them, we put a citronella collar on a dog that was barking like crazy. And what happened was the dog started getting sick from the citronella. He didn't put two and two together. When the dog barked, it went roof, then and he got sprayed with a citronella. He didn't put two and two together and he just kept on barking. It did not work. So I, I will tell you that the timing of the citronella spray is a little bit delayed and I find a lot of confusion in that. Again, these are band-aids. These are band-aids to why the dog is barking. If the dog is barking out of boredom, get him exercised, do things to make sure that he's occupied during the day. And the other thing is if your dog is barking because he's lonely, or he has separation anxiety. I just gave you the ideas of putting dogs in crates and underneath things and in dog beds. And then if the dog is being reactive, again, what you want to do is become more dominant in the space. And you're going to find that those gets to the crux of why the dog is barking and not because it's not fixing the problem.